from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first your top stories at this hour. An apartment eviction in a Sarasota neighborhood turned deadly on Friday. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says a 58-year-old man had been living in this apartment building on Palm Avenue near downtown Sarasota without paying rent since September. They say after months of legal action, the man refused to leave. Sheriff's Office says when deputies arrived to remove the man, he went after them with a knife and they shot and killed him. An error in the system. That's what the Pasco County School District is telling teachers and staff after most federal tax withholdings were entered incorrectly this past year. The district says this resulted in people taking home more money than they should have, and now they'll have to pay it back this tax season. Nearly 8,000 out of the 10,000 employees were impacted. We're told moving forward, the correct amount withheld for federal taxes will be taken out. Hundreds of thousands of people who love aviation will soon land in Lakeland for the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo next week. Sun and Fun will feature dozens of workshops and air shows, including a performance from the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. The Aerospace Expo is happening April 5th through the 10th. And at State Road 56 and I-75, crews were planning to add a Divergent Diamond interchange. That construction was scheduled to start on Friday, but it's now on hold because of this weekend's rain. So there will be no closures there this weekend. They have yet to choose a date to reschedule. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Hey, Dawn, everybody. We had a lot of rain across the area Thursday night into Friday, getting a little bit of a break overnight Friday into Saturday with more rain coming in on Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, potentially even a couple of strong or severe thunderstorms, but it'll be in and out pretty quickly. I think by late evening, the rain's over and Sunday turns out to be a decent day. So if you need to get something done outdoors, you've got the morning of Saturday or most of the day on Sunday, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, it is going to rain. And then it stays kind of unsettled, more of a summer like forecast next week with some scattered storms. And then believe it or not, we may see a cool front toward the end of next week, bringing temperatures for highs back in the 70s. And we'll see if it plays out a week in advance. A lot of times the models kind of fail bringing in cooler air in April because we don't normally get cold in April. Here's Florida's most accurate seven day rain in the afternoon on Saturday. A few scattered showers into next week and again that front by the end of the week.